In our studios today, we have Stace Nelson, who is the who is a Senate candidate, U.S. Senate candidate from the state of South Dakota. And uh, one of the things that's been bandied about lately in uh, in the press has been this politics as usual. What exactly do they mean by that when it when it's related to this race, Stace? Well, <laughs> you know it. Um, our country's in trouble. Uh, I don't think anybody mm -hmm. can and deny that. Uh, it actually came up uh, in a conversation I had with uh, editor Seth Tupper of the Daily Republic. He had a, a great article uh, over Christmas time about authenticity and uh, people's Christmas photos and and I had an exchange with him and I pointed out to him that our Christmas photo was uh, unscripted. It was uh, it was our actual family snapshot uh, at Thanksgiving, and the only thing scripted on it was I, I refused to allow my grandson, or actually my daughter refused to allow my grandson to have a Scooby-Doo big stuffed doll. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Seth was pointing out in his article that South Dakotans and Americans are looking for authenticity and uh, that they're tired of these politics as usual. And in my conversation with him, he pointed out that South Dakota, this U.S. Senate race, is an excellent test case to see if you, the voters, are actually, in, in fact, tired of politics as usual. And whether you want an actual, authentic uh, public servant to serve you, or if you want more of the same polished, uh, special interest bought uh, campaigns that we've seen uh, that have corrupted our, our national government. and. Uh, I have to agree with Seth. I think that this is an excellent uh, test case for, for not only South Dakota, but America. Um, my opponents, two of my opponents are establishment career politicians. Mike Rounds uh, was a governor. Uh, Larry Roden was, was a majority leader. And uh, our problems in this country is runaway spending, government expansion, um, increased taxes. I mean, big government is our problem. And underneath those two, uh, Mike Rounds exploded state government uh, spending by 64%. Uh, he increased uh, state government employees by 1,500. Uh, underneath the, the leadership of those two, they created more state debt and they created $127 million. They ran a $127 million deficit that we had to deal with in, in 2011. And now they're running as conservatives claiming that they'll do the exact, exact opposite when they go to D.C. And they're, they're doing great campaigning. I mean, they're telling the South Dakota voters everything that they know they want to hear. And they're changing who they are to do so. And the real question is, are South Dakotans, are they fed up like we are with politics as usual? Or are they going to send these chameleon conservatives to be their next uh, U.S. Senator to D.C.? And I think everybody's watching. And uh, it, it's clear to me that this race is probably the most important one as far as Republicans are concerned. I think it's the most winnable race to take a seat away from the Democrats. And we have this wonderful opportunity to actually have a voice in the Senate. Because right now, pretty much every vote uh, that comes along, uh, we have one on one side and one on the other. And uh, uh, I'm not sure that we're going to have any change unless we make a radical change to the conservative side. And so uh, this politics as usual thing is really important because we want to, um, I'm guessing we want to have that unified voice in the Senate. Well, I think what we need to have is an actual uh, elected official that votes on the merits of the issues and on the principles uh, that they're telling the, the public that they're going to have. And I'd ask my fellow South Dakotans to take a hard look at this race. Uh, one of my opponents, uh, Mike Rounds, is bragging he's going to have $9 million of special interest money to basically buy this election in the state of South Dakota. No honest man needs $9 million to win a U.S. Senate race in the great state of South Dakota. Uh, but a man with uh, the bad record that he has needs that $9 million to rewrite history and, and basically flood the media with 30-second sound bites uh, to kind of pull the wool over your eyes. And that's not what we need in D.C. Uh, and, and folks need to understand, the problems we have in D.C. cannot be laid at the feet of the Democrats. Uh, we had a lot of Republicans that went to D.C. that claimed that they were these conservatives that would cut back on government, cut back on spending, oppose Obamacare, and they did the exact opposite. And they helped create that $17 trillion in debt and a runaway, over-aggressive uh, federal government. And we've got to, we've got to uh, stop the politics as usual. And we're seeing plenty of that here in South Dakota with candidates that claim that they're going to answer to you and serve you but they don't have the courage to come to debates and show up. Instead, they go to D.C. and New York to raise money from them folks there. And uh, 
Uh, bottom line is we need to hold them accountable and let's stop the politics as usual. Let's throw out these establishment career politicians. Oh, we certainly can agree that our country is uh, is in trouble and it's it's a time like this in primaries that we really set the course uh, for who's running, who's going to be the standard bearer for South Dakota. So stay tuned and stay in touch. Don't be one of those low information voters. Let's get together and, uh, and make the right choice.